Hi guys, it's Nicole and today I have an exciting video to share with you. I was asked to be a guest designer for the Scrap Room Kit Club for the month of August and if you don't know about the Scrap Room, I've got some images here to share with you. Anybody new to the Scrap Room, basically this is the monthly flavors of the month kit which you get four like mini kits. So four different themed kits and then this is the embellishment add-on kit that uh, Rochelle the owner actually sent to me to play with as well. And so for my first layout I couldn't help myself. I went for the cutest which happens to be the barbecue line from Doodlebug. So this one came with two sheets of textured white cardstock. Um, and then three sheets of pattern papers and it's picnic in the park picnic spot and snow cone stripe and as i was going through them i kind of do what i normally do when i'm looking through papers where i kind of turn them to the side that i think i am most likely to use i am typically a b-side pattern kind of person um but i actually used Pretty much every side of all three sheets I believe and then the kit itself also came with a red doodle bug doily one eighth of a pack of doodle bug die cuts which doodle bug calls their die cuts the odds and ends and everybody gets a little bit different variety because they split a die cut pack amongst eight kits so eight different subscribers of the kit are all going to get a little bit different mixture of these die cuts. And so I went through and just kind of laid them all out to see which ones came in my kit to kind of figure out where I was going to go. And then I also have a strip of the Doodlebug sprinkles, which is what they call their enamel dots up on the top. And then I already knew when she gave me the embellishment out on kit that I was going to use it because it had a doodle pop in it like these things are so cute and I never I feel like I have a bunch and I never use them because they're just it's one of those like it's so cute so the embellishment add-on comes with a doodle pop and then some more die cuts from the die cut pack so it's kind of a nice mix between the embellishments that came in the page kit and then some extra ones and I was really glad to be able to kind of mix and match them and then when I was going through my photos to try to figure out what photos I wanted to use, I was noticing that anytime I had actual barbecue or grilling type photos, I only had a couple. So my solution is to do a single page layout in that instance. Most of the time you guys know I do double page layouts because I tend to have a lot of photos. But if I don't have a lot of photos, I'm not going to go ahead and stretch it across two pages. I'm going to keep it into a single page layout. And I chose to go ahead and just drop all five of my photos into a photo template and go ahead and print that out at home. And then from there, I just tried to be a little bit creative on how I was going to cut up the papers. Because obviously using a kit, it's a little bit different than your stash where... Maybe if you have an off cut in your stash, you can kind of go back and grab something. I was just, I mean, it's Doodlebug. What's not to love about Doodlebug? And for whatever reason, I've been kind of on a Doodlebug kick. So when I got the kit and brought it home and looked through everything, I was super excited to see this one in here. And the journaling spot type pattern paper that they have been doing is a favorite of mine. I actually purchased this paper and... I want to say the one from Land that I love. I shared it in a recent haul video, but I am really loving what Doodlebug is doing with these journal spots. I like that they're a different size. In this instance, I picked one that was one of the taller skinny ones to kind of balance out my photo collage. And then I just started playing with the die cuts and tried to figure out what was going to work and kind of where I wanted things to be. At this point, I still was debating about... Um, what my background paper is going to look like when I can't really make a decision on that is to kind of just like a wallpaper method but I'll still leave a border of the background paper and then here you can see I ended up switching out to a different journaling spot because I actually went with this aqua tone on tone b side on which was the back side to the stripe pattern and I didn't want to have the blue border journaling 
on top of this. It was just a lot of blue on blue on blue and I wanted a little bit more contrast. So as you can see, I just kind of wallpapered the back of my layout. I used a strip of the stripe pattern paper as like a border between them. I'm gonna tuck in that doily that came with the main kit and then from here on out, I'm just kind of playing with die cuts. I already know that I'm going to use the die cuts to cover up the actual icons on my journaling spot. And the reason for that is I think this whole barbecue line from Doodbug is very summer themed. There's a lot of summer themed images like lemonade and phrases about it being hot and things like that. But my photos are actually from um, us grilling or barbecuing in December, which I mean here in December I'm wearing a hoodie. It's, it's, it's clearly not that cold, but it's also not what I would say is like lemonade themed photos. So I just kind of picked out the ones that I felt like didn't go against my theme. So do we have corn dogs on the grill? No. Do we have shrimp on our kebabs? No. It doesn't need to match specifically. It's more of just the idea of it being these cute little bar barbecue icons. So I just kind of went through and picked out ones that were more barbecue specific and less maybe summer specific. And once I have figured out kind of where I want to go, I'm going to go ahead and start attaching everything down. And typically I kind of figure out my paper photos and then my embellishments. But I noticed with these kits, I was more excited about the embellishments. And I think it's because I'm not looking at a whole pack of embellishments at one time. They're sort of already sorted into a grouping. And now you kind of have this challenge of, okay, how do I make these 10 die cuts work? On a layout and I really actually enjoyed that challenge I think normally I would have been a little anxious and freaked out about it but I was pretty surprised at how fast all of the layouts that I have done with this kit I was only required to do one layout but I went ahead and made two layouts or three total so I used three out of the four kits or like mini kits that come with the flavors of the month and I'm still debating what I'm going to do with that fourth one, so kind of stay tuned for that. But I ended up making two single page layouts and a double page layout, which the double page layout will be featured on the Scrap Room YouTube channel. So be on the lookout for that um, towards the end of August. But both single page layouts that I did probably start to finish even with formatting my journaling, 45, 50 minutes. And I was kind of surprised because you guys know I'm slow. I end up having to edit out a lot of stuff in my videos of me just kind of trying to figure out what do I want to do. And I think limiting what I was working with really sped that up. And I think that that is one of the things that Rochelle sort of aims for with her kits. So that definitely ended up being true in my usage of her kit and as you can see I ended up using a die cut to kind of cover up where I ripped that banner piece and no one will ever know now typically this is how I format my journaling and get it to line up on a printable or a cut apart a lot of times I'll use my window or my computer monitor just on like a blank screen but I wanted to show you in the video that sometimes you can even use the light on your camera or on your phone um, in this instance, it wasn't working because I had such a large area. So here I've got a test printout where I was testing the line spacing and the two vertical lines are where it's going to be centered on, on the actual cut apart. And then here I'm just checking to make sure that the line spacing on my test is the same as the line spacing on the cut apart. And I got lucky that the first, um, reformatting that I did ended up working out great. So I just kind of figured out where it needed to be. I've got my guidelines for where the edge of my journaling is, and that's just kind of an easy way to center it and get it all lined up. And here you can see it printed perfectly. And I was so glad because I really wanted to use this yellow one. And now, now I'm basically when I use the other journaling ones, I kind of know which line spacing to use. So from there, everything just kind of came together. It was mostly, again, just the paper that was in the kit, the die cuts that were in the kit, 
And then I wanted some smaller pieces to fill in. So I just fussy cut some shapes from the like busy icon pattern paper, which I can't think of what, what the name of that one was. But definitely check out my description box below. There'll be a bunch of information for um, more things regarding the Scrap Room Kit Club in case you haven't heard of them. They happen to be local to me and I've gone to all three of her crops. Rochelle is the owner and I have to tell you she is super nice, super creative. Um, I tend to eye her kits every month but typically what I end up doing is when I go to her crop she kind of separates the flavors of the month into individual page kits and you can pick and choose and kind of cherry pick which ones you want and so I stock up when I go to her crop. So definitely check out the information. I think she has a really good way to kind of get a sampling of things that are new on the market, maybe even embellishments that you wouldn't normally use, which the layout going on her channel, I talk a little bit more about that. And then because she is a coffee lover, she actually sends out a gourmet sampler of coffee in the boxes for the subscribers to her kits. I don't drink coffee, but she was nice enough to give me um, like August coffee flavor, I guess. So that I might end up putting up in a rack. Like I said, I, I didn't use the fourth page kit and I haven't yet and I'm not sure if I'm going to have time to get to it. So I'm debating about sharing it with you guys and maybe passing it on um, to one of you guys. But I will figure that out and let you guys know. And... This was pretty much it. I finished up with some enamel dots that, again, these came in the main kit. And I have to tell you, I was super shocked with how fast that this came together. The last thing that I did was I go ahead and add my date while I have the date handy and I've got everything out. And that was pretty much it. So here you can see the completed layout and then I've got some detail shots for you guys. And... I, again, I always appreciate you guys coming by. Um, check the description box if you have any questions regarding these kits or anything kind of mentioned in the video. And I'll catch you guys later. Bye.